Hello, scrappers. Well, I wanted to do a little follow-up on my last video where I scrapped out the Beckman DU64 UV Viz spectrophotometer. I've done a little bit more research on some of the bits and pieces I got out of it. And I thought I'd give you a bit of an update on them. Well, first off, this uh, deuterium UV lights. I thought this would be the most valuable piece I would get for resale out of the unit. Turns out it is not the most valuable. It's worth maybe a hundred bucks for a good used pull. Maybe a hundred bucks. I'll tell you what the most valuable piece here is. It's this LCD screen that was behind the membrane keyboard. Good working pulls of this thing are selling for about 165 bucks. Apparently this Epson LCD screen was used in a lot of industrial and laboratory equipment back in like the 80s and 90s and uh, working replacements are in high demand and going for good money. I've actually seen them go for more but I'm figuring 165 is probably a good median price. So that's nice. So I've got a couple of things here that I can sell and make some money. That's good. Uh, this membrane keyboard. Well, there's a couple things about it. First off, I was wondering if the traces on here were silver. Over here where the, uh, the name and info was, I put a little drop of nitric acid on it. And it's not showing up too good even in macro mode, but the nitric acid chewed away the silver over the top and exposed the copper underneath. So yeah, this is silver, silver plated copper traces. And there's a lot of it on the other side of this board underneath the membrane. So what I will do is the next time I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing silver recovery, I will, use, I will strip all the silver off this board because there's a fair amount of silver plating on this board. I'm not going to let it go to waste. But it gets even better. You know, we got, we got these gold, uh, gold pin connector here. we got gold pin header here. But uh, if I peel the membrane back, haha. <laughs> The little uh, spring steel dots inside that you push down, they are gold plated too, so I'll recover all of those. So there's a fair amount of precious metals in this uh, membrane keyboard. That is awfully nice. Okay, uh, I got a question in, uh, in the last video. Somebody left a question in the comments, and I thought I'd take the opportunity to answer it. Somebody wanted to know what transistors are so that they could scrap them out too because I said transistors have a little bit of gold in them. Let's see if I can get focused close up. These D-shaped things here, these are transistors and you'll see them on a lot of boards. Um, and each of these has a little whisker or two of gold in them. Not a huge amount, you need a lot of these to get a lot of gold. Uh, and transistors come in lots of different shapes and sizes. These are TO92 I think. I could be wrong about that. It's been a while. Um, style transistors, but like I said, they come in lots of styles and sizes and shapes. And uh, these, these are little signal transistors. Sometimes you'll get them with a metal, a metal can, and sometimes you'll get a metal can with the gold-plated legs, which is nice. Now these over here are sort of metal can too. These are I integrated circuits of some sort. I haven't bothered looking up the numbers on them. Yeah, very strange numbers anyway. But uh, uh, the legs are not gold plated on those. Okay, sometimes you'll get IC, can IC chips with gold plated legs. Not in this case, but watch out for those. Those are nice. So uh, that's what uh, transistors are and what they look like, at least some of them. Um, I'm going to do a, a video, or it may even turn out to be a series of videos in the future about where to get the gold out of electronics. Where is the gold hiding on this board? Well, there's lots of gold in this board. There's obvious gold. There's, uh, you know, the fingers. There's the uh, gold-plated header pins and uh, jumper pins. And, uh, you know, gold-plated connectors. But there's a lot of hidden gold on this board that actually may add up to more gold than you actually see. The gold inside the IC chips, inside the transistors, that can actually add up to more gold than the visible gold. Because the visible gold is just a really thin plating. Whereas the gold inside the transistors and the IC chips 
it's it's wires it actually has a thickness to it a real thickness to it so it adds up it's more volume of gold than you usually get from the plating so um, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a series on that on where the gold is in electronics because I get a lot of questions from people who are you know beginner electronic scrappers who don't know this stuff um, as for this computer board itself I've decided yeah I'm not gonna keep it um, It'd just be too much trouble to get it up and running and uh, play around with it. If I really decide I want to relive my youth and play around with an 8-bit uh, retro computer, what I'll do is I'll buy one of the kits off of eBay. And uh, what I'll, I'll do is I'll keep the 8085 CPU. I will keep that. And let's see, these other chips. I'm going to take. I'm going to scrap out these two EEPROMs because they're just full of gold. So I can get... I can get a modern EEPROM if I need an EEPROM for the kit that doesn't have gold in it, I can get that cheap. This chip right here is an EEPROM, electrically erasable programmable read-only memory, 2K by 8. That's kind of an interesting chip. I really don't know if I want to keep it or not. It is socketed so it's easy enough to get out. Um, this is a 2K by 8 uh, static RAM chip. Uh, this is an 8K by 8 static RAM chip. Now this might be more useful for a little kit uh, kit retro computer. So I might try to carefully unsolder this chip and keep it. Um, this over here, this is a... <laughs> if you look up the data sheet on this one, it's kind of funny. They call it their Deluxe uh, model chip. It, it does a little bit of everything. It's got bus management on it. It's got... Um, uh, parallel ports, it's got counter timers, it's got a little bit of internal RAM, it, it does everything but make you coffee. So, uh, the, and these actually resell good used pulls of this, they'll resell for about 10 bucks or maybe a little more. So I might try to resell that. Uh, I want the riser card it's on because it's got gold pins, so I'm going to get those gold pins. Um, so, you know, this chip, this chip, Maybe this chip would be good for a little kit retro computer. We'll see. I don't know. I might go Z80 rather than 8085. We'll see. If I decide to go that route anyway. I really need a computer that I can do video processing on and surf the web and run spreadsheets. Can't really do that with any of those retro computers, but they are fun to play with. I have to give you that. Let's see what else. We got a few other good things on here. This is a 12-bit analog to digital converter. Doesn't resell for much, unfortunately, but I'll, I'll scrap it out and get whatever gold's in it. Instrument. This is a ceramic IC. This is an instrumentation amplifier. I bet that it has gold in it, just like these EEPROMs have gold in them. I hope that's showing up. So I will process this chip for gold too. So yep, not keeping the computer. I'm gonna I'm gonna scrap it out. So anyway, that's just a little bit of an update. Um, oh, one other thing I'll show you. Now, one last thing, I forgot to show you this at the end of the other video. This is the big pile of heavy aluminum plate I got out of that unit. My goodness, there's a lot of aluminum here. So that that uh, spectrophotometer was really worth scrapping out. It was a fun scrap out. I learned a lot. It was a little frustrating at times, but I learned a lot about the way it was built. And uh, I got a lot of good stuff out of it. So if you run into one of those things, get it, get it if you can, get it cheap, get it, get it for nothing, and scrap it the heck out, because it's really worth it. All right, that's it for now. Just a little short update, short and sweet. Uh, please subscribe to see future videos. Give this video a like if you found it at all interesting. Press the little bell icon to be informed when future videos come out. And keep it safe out there. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.